I'm Jack Watson in Reisterstown. The warm weather means it's finally time to pick crabs again. But a survey finds the Chesapeake Bay's blue crab population is down this year. We'll dive into what that means. We prepare all year for the next three months. Mallet in one hand, orange crush in the other. It's crab feast season. Well, people are ready to have crabs on their back porch, for sure. Hope Otto knows firsthand as owner of Reader's Crab House and Grill in Reisterstown in the wake of the Memorial Day rush. A lot of our watermen and a lot of our crab suppliers keep us abreast of things that are going on, um, weather dependencies and things like that. So if they know that a bad storm's coming in, we'll be able to get um, crabs earlier in the week or things like that. Otto says the main snags at this point of the year have been weather and the size of the crabs. Big picture though, the Maryland Department of Natural Resources found the crab population in the bay is down, but also calls it sustainable. Its winter survey found the second lowest population since the survey began in 1990. And this year's winter dredge survey results mean it could be more difficult for bay watermen to find blue crabs this year during the summer crab feast season, uh, which means prices could go up and things could be more scarce for those who want to enjoy crabs at home. Allison Colden is Maryland Executive Director for the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, which fights to protect the bay. Colden calls it distressing and a red flag. The state says the crabs had a high death rate, likely due to several cold snaps over the winter. Colden notes many things could contribute to the decline, including a drop in underwater grass, water pollution, or the invasive blue catfish eating the crabs before we can. In response to these distressing survey results, we're hoping managers in Maryland and Virginia will look to reduce crab harvest overall, with a particular eye in Virginia towards the increasing harvest of male crabs and in Maryland to the harvest and import of sponge crabs, which are female crabs which have eggs and are ready to spawn. DNR says blue crab reproduction varies naturally and is known to have a boom or bust cycle, though crabs are already booming at readers and on back decks everywhere in Maryland. In Reisterstown, Jack Watson, WMAR2 News.